So when I got the request to draw Care Bears, I realized to myself I have not ever drawn a Care Bear, which is kind of funny since it's right up my alley. They're, they're uh, pastel colored, adorable bear creatures with cute things on their stomach designs and hearts on their feet. It's kind of the kind of stuff I would normally draw. So I'm just trying to sketch the proportions of the 80s Care Bear style Care Bears from the show. And um, Cheer Bear, I noticed, ha there's a couple different versions of Cheer Bear. Sometimes she has a ponytail and sometimes she doesn't, depending on which animated short she's in or which show she's in. Um, I decided later to add the ponytail since I didn't see enough of a difference between her and Grumpy Bear and I wanted them to have a contrast and I felt like the ponytail kind of added a little, little perkiness or happiness to her. Um, here I'm just trying to make a head shape that doesn't look terrifying. These look like Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics to me, personally. Um, but it was a couple different really quick, quick and dirty attempts at trying to make the characters look cute. And here I have a better angle on the head and I kind of start forming the, the actual final picture here. And the first idea was that Cheer Bear would be really annoying and overly perky and excitable and trying to cheer up Grumpy Bear. I don't know if you can hear my cat, she just made a noise and said hello. But the idea was that Cheer Bear was gonna cheer up Grumpy Bear and be kind of annoying and peppy and he was just kind of over it. But then I had the idea that maybe he'd be looking over at her like, oh, all right, you kind of cheered me up, like kind of cutesy. But then I went back quickly to the, he's really irritated by this look with the big uh, grumpy cat looking eyes almost with the big thick eyebrows and like, you gotta be kidding me expression. Though one small change totally changed the mood of the entire picture that you'll see later. See, 90% of the drawing process for this, I had her looking directly at him like, hey, hey, you happy, you happy? But it wasn't looking like sweet or cutesy enough. So you see here to up the cute factor, I added in some of the star buddies who are my favorite, the cute little adorable pudgy star friends that are everywhere in the Care Bears world. So I had a couple of them kind of adding to the, the cuteness and he, they're all annoying him and jumping on him and trying to get him to smile and she's got the ice cream cone which is extra cute and sweet looking but it still wasn't sweet enough it felt more like a parody of the Care Bears than it did a, a loving tribute so here I'm just going through and inking and adding in the, the coloring and trying to figure out I'm gonna have this contrast of like day and night so she's obviously the bright sunny sunshiny side and here's where I make the change that adds the sweetness as I make her look up and to the left and I have to thank my friend Taylor for the suggestion. Um, it was a suggestion he had made when I was texting my sister about this picture, like, here's what I'm working on, what do you think? Um, do you think she looks- I, I, I thought she looked creepy looking at him for a while, but her looking up and to the left makes it look like she's joyfully singing to him and it really changed the whole mood of the picture for the better, so thanks Taylor. This picture turned out way nicer looking because of that that really small detail change. So I'm just going in and um, adding the rainbow to her stomach and all these little detailed things. Um, we had a lot of uh, Care Bears plush toys growing up as children and my favorite one was always the bedtime bear since he looked different. He had the eyes that were kind of half-lidded. So I like all the weird bears like Grumpy Bear and Bedtime Bear. So I knew I had to do something with one of them. And at first I was gonna draw the bedtime bear sleeping with a uh, little nightcap on and curled up in a little cloud and I just didn't think that would be interesting enough just one character because I've just been doing one character for a lot of these so I wanted to do two characters in a background and something a little bit more interesting to look at. So here I want his half of the cloud to imitate what's on his stomach, the, the blue with the rain and the real sad gloomy feeling and her half I want to look really sunny and peachy and warm and happy. Looks very comfy, cozy, happy. All these kind of feelings. And I messed around with the shadow color a little bit. It was too gray and then it was too purple and then it was this and the other thing. But I ended up liking the uh, the shadow color I ended up using for most of the picture. And here, um, the, the smudges of paint I had done in the corner I ended up liking so much because it reminded me of Superman ice cream or the Play-Doh food stuff from the movie Hook. Those colors just like the muted primary color palette, I just really liked it. So I ended up just blowing up that little swatch of color, making that the background, and then just adding a few other shades and blending them together to make the background. And to make it more Care Bear world tied in, I added the little 
I found a screenshot where there's like two clouds and a rainbow bridge and then at the very tail end I'm gonna add in this little like a uh, pole with a heart like a barbershop pole with a heart on top that I found in another screenshot and I have a vague memory of those poles actually being like signals for the Care Bears but it's been so many years since I've seen any of the Care Bears cartoons I couldn't even tell you what they're for all I know is it's really cute so I added it in and here I'm adding in um I added some pale yellow stars on a blue background. That's a color scheme I've wanted to use for a while is like baby blue with light yellow and I haven't had really had any reason to do so. So this felt like the right opportunity to use that color scheme. I'm never in a scenario where I need stars and it's like a baby blue sky so this was just right. So here's the final piece. I'm really happy with the, the color scheme that I ended up choosing, the Superman ice cream kind of primary colors but muted color scheme. I'll have to use it in the future for more cutesy kinds of pictures because I really dig it, how everything works together. And I think the whole picture works um, color-wise and tone-wise, and that's my little loving tribute to the Care Bears.